you <laughs> to learn to trade, guys, which is a good thing. You know, uh, doctor lawyers take four, five, 12 years to finally learn their craft and start making money. You know, and you can't just put in a couple months of hard work to learn this. You want to get rich overnight. You want to graduate overnight. So these, these are things you have to consider, guys. Anything that's worth it, it's not going to be an overnight success. You might as well go play the Powerball, the Mega Millions, which I, I played too. Played like 300 bucks and lost. <laughs> so here I am still here. <laughs> if I won that Powerball or Mega Million, I'd, I'd still be here, guys. I'd still be here. <laughs> You, you probably wouldn't even know I won. <laughs> My lifestyle would not change much at all. All right, guys, let's start. Um, one thing I want to talk about first we start is the meetup is coming, guys. The meetup is going to be the weekend of the August 19th. Okay? Do not miss this one. Let me, let me bring it up online for you guys. Let me see. Let me bring it up online for you guys. Uh, my, you go to my investing club slash meet up. This is the one event out of the year. You should take off from work, do what you need to do to come to our meetup. Completely free. You do not have to be an MIC member. This is the one event of your life this year that you should attend. Okay, forget Christmas with your parents, Thanksgiving with your girlfriend, drop everything and come to the meetup. This will change your fucking life, okay? I don't know what else to tell you guys. You know, this, this, this is completely free. Took us a lot of money to set this up. You do not have to be a member. This is our fourth year anniversary. That's why we're doing this, guys, okay? Fucking call in sick. Do what you need to do to come here. We chose Provo, which is Salt Lake City Airport, Utah, because it's inexpensive, not much partying going on. We're, we intend to help you guys meet people. This is not just stocks, guys. You are now meeting quality new friendships. People that do that want to better their life, not just fucking hang out at bars all day. If you want to hang out at bars all day, that's cool too. You can hang out with me. I'm there all night. <laughs> but you know what, man? That At least you do it with quality people that want to get ahead in life. There are doctors, lawyers, engineers, you name it, nurses, professors, you'd be very surprised. There's FBI agents, security, policemen, every sort of life wants to learn to trade stocks. This is your event. You go to myinvestingclub.com, meet up, sign up, all the information. We even have cheap hotel rooms for you, okay? All the freaking information here, here is the agenda. This is August 19th, guys. Do not meet the, do not miss this event. Okay? You will regret it for the rest of your freaking life. Well, for the year anyways. <laughs> Until our next meetup, which is next year. But this is a big one, guys. Okay? This is the big one of the year. Okay, every time we go, we have a huge one of Philadelphia. We we did we're the only ones that do meetups around the world. Thank goodness that COVID op opened up that so now we can actually start doing more meetups, guys. You do not have to be a member, okay? Um, meet quality freaking people. Meet myself, meet Alex, meet all the moderators. Let me take a look at this stock. Let me see if I have these open, by the way. Okay, we're cool. We're cool. See, I am still trading. I'm not here pumping and dumping stocks, you know? I love doing this, guys. I love doing this. I've been doing this so long. It's the same repetitive thing over and over. Once you learn the fundamentals, you apply it with, the problem with trading is this guys, you, there's so much to learn, you don't know where to begin. So that's why you, to cut the learning curve, you need to join like MIC, right? Something like that. I mean, I'm not pumping MIC all day long sitting here, trust me, man, I don't really give a damn. I'm just trying to help you guys. I see so many people freaking losing, man. And I'm, I'm just sitting here bored on my mind. I mean, I, I traded, let me see. I traded how many stocks today? Here guys. So here, here's all the stocks I traded, all for green. Let's go over some of these just for a second. So the question is this, guys. Should you be trading meme stocks? The Sorry, man, my internet died or something. 
Okay, cool. Sorry, guys. So the question is, will should you trade the meme stocks? The answer is yes or no. Yes, it depends. You know why it depends? Are you long or are you short? Let's bring up one of these stocks, BBBY and AMC, okay? So here's BBBY. Here's AMC. If you are a long, day ones are your best bet for these movers, okay? That's why I said depends. Everybody just wants to get in, get in, get in. But the problem is this, okay? You have to have an edge. You have to know what your edge is. Usually, these plays have what I call the three-day rule. The first day is the pump day. The first day I call it, it's like the, the, the early birds that know what, what they're doing gets in. So there's a... So AMC started moving on Friday because of earnings and all that stuff. And so over the weekend, what happens is the grandma see this, the friends, their brothers, their cousins, their freaking, you know, their buddies, you know, see this. And so it gaps up because everyone's like, oh shit, AMC is going back to the moon. You know, BBBY is going back to the moon. And so what happens is this is why you get this gap up over the weekend. Weekend gappers are very strong for hype. They spent all weekend hump pumping the meme stock up. And that's why you get the gap. And so you have, and so it squeezes, it squeezes. And so it hits the three day rule. What I talk about the three day rule is all the time. This been, I talked about this for 15 freaking years. Okay. So the first day you get the pump. Then overnight, the grandma see it, the cousins see it, they gap it up. Boom. So what happens? There's now there's nobody left to fucking buy the stock. And so they squeeze out all the shorts. Once the, the shorts are usually the last ones in the stock. You are not buying up here, guys. Retail is not buying up here. You have already bought down here. This would be chasing. This would be the. This would be like your grandma buying because she heard it from from a friend who heard it from a friend who heard it from a friend, right, guys? Uh, but you heard it down. You heard it either here or here. And then if you're dumb, you hold it and you hold it all the way back down, you lose. So the three-day rule is very simple. The pump day, the gap day, you use this day to scale out as, you know, like as most of your position and then dump the rest on day three. And on day three is when shorts come in. That's why I said it depends who you trade this. So this is a very difficult stock. I'm actually surprised it went all the way down. You know, I thought we'd linger around here. So in terms of percentage gain, I skip these meme stocks. What I favor for instead of the meme stocks is small caps. You know, everybody has a niche, guys. And so my niche is to trade what I like to trade. So you have stocks like ZKIN, which I have a nice average up in the 160s. I kept adding, adding 160s. And now the stock's at 120s. So that's a 40 cents, 40 by that. That is 40 divided by 16. One. That's a 25% gain on one position, guys. So, you know, it, it depends. So I'm like, should I focus on, you know, meme stocks? And I'll tell you the reason, guys. So this is the thing, okay? You have to, you have to ask yourself, what, what are you trying to accomplish? If you have a million dollar account, it's going to be difficult to put a million dollars into a small cap. So that's why stocks like, the meme stocks, AMC, Bed Bath & Beyond, those will be more attractive to you if you want to get in with size, okay? Because the liquidity there will absorb your millions of fucking shares, right? Your dollars worth of shares. Whereas, you know, if you have a smaller account, this is what we're trying to teach you guys, you know? Uh, I'm not trading with a million dollar account. I used to trade with a $4 million account, right? But, you know, now I'm trading small caps. I don't need that. And so I'm it does not take much of a position to make decent money with small caps, guys. And so 25% across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stocks I traded. I traded all for, for gains, okay? Let's go through all the stocks. I, I traded all these stocks I traded for gains today. I didn't lose on a single position, guys. I lost once. Let me see. So APDN. Look at this shit. Oh, shit. I, I got in some positions. Oh, shit. It's fucking... Oh, I had some open orders during the Instagram. This one always gets me. Holy fuck. So in the morning, I shorted all, you know, I scaled up here and I covered all the way down. That bank right there, guys. Same thing midday. Boom. I went back to the high of day. Boom. Covered all the way down. That's bank again. So now <laughs> I did not do maintenance and it got me. I, I It didn't get me yet. It, it halted. Let me see what the fuck it halted. It halted at the top. What's this?
anymore. So I am in. This thing is blocked. Five four. This my my shit's off. Let's see. Five four six. That's cool. Hopefully it'll go down to one three five and a okay. Let me just put in some open orders, guys. Um, I didn't, dude, I didn't know I had open orders. That's funny. That's fine. So that's AP. That's APDN. It's swiped up. So small. This is the problem with small caps, guys. You have to wait for the outer lines. So I, I, dude, this thing is so freaking broken. I started doing the IG live here. I didn't know it started moving up. And so I started moving. I don't know if there's news or what, but it's crazy. It's, oh, okay. It went on news. Freaking crazy, dude. Okay. Um, that's fine. So then you have BNSO. Look at this stock, guys. From $6.60 all the way down. So another 25% gainer. And then you have phase. I just told you all the shit I traded, guys. Oh shit, there's an open order that filled too. So look, it went up from all the way to 16 bucks. Covered all the way down to 14 bucks. That's bank right there. HLBZ. So this is an interesting one. This is the one that I actually took a loss on. And look how small of a loss I took. So what I did is I waited for the top, guys, to short. And then when it popped up, I was like, fuck this shit. I'm not going to mess around. I am going to... Oh, shit. Let me, uh, let me put some orders in. APDN. What the hell? Hold on, guys. This is nuts. <laughs> let me see. Oh shit, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what I did, guys. Hold on, let me, uh. <laughs> APDN. <laughs> I already took some off here. So these are all profit up here. I covered the ones that broke even over here. Let me try that again. So you see what I did, guys? Look at that. Okay. So I top ticked it actually. <laughs> you know why I top ticked it? Same freaking line from the previous week. So the, we. This is the magic, guys. This. All right, so I just leave it over there. So that's that's what I did, guys. Yeah, real time trade here. So I got the top because of this previous top, and this top was based upon the previous top. So you have a triple top over here in the final eighty line. And so if I was trading actively, so I did cover half of my position here. So I took off the early ones. So I'm writing the two positions up here, guys. And it goes back down here. I'm going to cover some when it goes back down. Uh, yeah. I'm just trading these small sizes for you guys. Mm -hmm. Then I'll show you the rest of my trades, guys. <laughs> you got it. Uh, you, you saw it's a pop in real life, in real time. So that's pretty cool. Hey, PTN, I've been, you know, two great trades in the morning, guys. Look at this, man. All the way, he covered all the way down. Top tick this, all the way down. Now it's kind of riding this. I'm hoping it it kind of crashes back fades down here. I'll cover down here. I'll be set. So I covered half of the thing down here. So I'm already good, man. Average is like up here somewhere because I took two off here. You see this? That's pretty much scaling, guys. And so that, let me see what else is there. So that's that stock. And then we have HSCS, which is a cool one. Let me take a, let me show you HSCS. I covered early. 
So I'm all the way up here at the $3.20 line. Covered all the way down to two ninety, which is a great percentage, guys. Of course, it goes down. No more, but it is what it is. My internet keeps going in and out. Uh, fat, P-H-A-T at top ticks here. I'll show you how I did this. So the stock is fat. Look at this, man. If you're early on fat, you're dead. This thing started at $7. It's now $9. Do not have FOMO. What I did was actually waited. You see that? I waited for it to top out. Once fat topped out, it tanked back down. And then I reshorted the bounce at the outer resistance line. Now I'm just holding it so it drops back down to around here to cover. So I want it to go back down to here to cover. That's all it is. Play it simple. The key is, look at this, do not have FOMO. Wait for the top to be set. Signaled by a candle, big candle down. Okay, so that's fat. What else did I trade? Our ETO, this one was RTEO. Look at that, I waited not for, the, so the f first one, it went up. You know, I'm not gonna top, I'm not gonna try to top tick it because it could go 10 bucks, who knows? So I waited for it to come down and go back up. And I actually top ticked it around 130 line. Covered, boom, and it went down, it covered all the way down to $1. This is a 30 cent plus move. Add them all up, seven of these stocks, guys. You don't need to make much money, man. Imagine you make just a few hundred bucks each one. It adds up. So let me see what else is there. Top T1. This is the weird one. I fucked this one up. Can't be perfect. I top ticked top. <laughs> the reason I top ticked this, my my IG keeps going in and out. Uh, is it okay? Let me know if it's okay for you guys. It keeps stalling. It keeps uh, going in and out. My IG. I got a new phone and my phone's all jacked up. But anyways, I top ticked top using the line from this morning, pre market. Covered. I this is some weird fat finger I did. So I covered it all the way down here. Reshorted up at the twenty dollar line. Cover the nineteen dollar line. Then the fucking bottom falls out to thirteen bucks. I think it's offering some shit. I fucked up this stock, man. Fuck. I had the top, man, of top. You know what can you do? What can you do, right? What can you do? And then the last one, Zekin. Oh yeah, I think I told you about this already. So these all add up, guys. I made all money on all these stocks. N it's the same process. So you ask me, should I be trading the mean stocks? If I trade the mean stocks, a couple things will happen, guys. So this is part of the trading that you need to, it's called stock selection. So depending on your objective, your, your account size, whatever it may be, your niche, right? My niche has been to trade these freaking five of these stocks. They all add up, make money on each one because they're, you know, I'm not trading the hottest stock of the day. The hardest ones are the meme stocks. Hardest ones of the day. Uh, hedge funds are running them. Wall Street guys are running them. The ape guys, diamond hands, you know, it's so difficult, right? So the only way you do that is if you time it right. If you're a short seller, you have to wait for the day three. Day fucking three or day two and nail and bail, right, guys? Day one, they're going to fucking kill you. Um, and so think about this. I've traded seven fucking stocks, all green, you know, you can do it too, right? So basically stock selection, um, if you have a giant ass account, big ass account, uh, by all means, right? These fucking mean stocks, that's the only way you can get a million dollar position, right? It's very difficult to get a million dollar position of a stock like T.O.P. because it's too illiquid. But you get a couple thousand shares, you know, make fucking two points, three points, you know, you know, and then you have five other stocks that do that, you know? So basically when you do this, you factor in, 
the attention span. I could do these stocks in my sleep. I said what's called fantasy orders, but for meme stocks, I have to focus on them. You turn around, they're fucking all over the fucking place, right? They'll they'll stop out, they'll hunt your stops and all that stuff. So, you know, so in terms of should I be trading meme stocks, it's up to you. But if you do trade meme stocks, you must understand these rules that we've been doing for 20 years, the three day rules. Know which days to get in as a long and which days to get in as a short seller. And so these are the things that you learn <laughs> Not on your own, guys. You got to go bankrupt before you learn this shit, right? You, you're going to have to. I mean, this is why people are stupid as fuck. They say they can learn everything online. Bullshit. The people that post this shit online, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> you know, there's, there's a reason why we charge money because this is valuable information. I'm, we're not going to give this shit out for free. I, I gave this shit out for free for over a decade, guys. You know, I was like, but but now we're giving the details. But anyways, guys, if you're trading mean stocks, you need to be focused on that shit. It takes up a lot of buying power. And a lot of brokers, you know, that you know, you can't just use four time leverage on it because they it's a meme stock that goes crazy and they give you maybe cash or something it may be, right? Um Oh shit, top is bouncing back up. Holy shit. Over the flip. I have all these open orders. Oh, I feel some shit. Let me ask you 1588. Let me, uh, 1620. What did I get? I got a good feel. Mm -hmm. I want to show you afterwards. Let me see. What did I get? Let me show you what I did. So I'm using fantasy orders for these. What is a fantasy order? Fantasy order is just a way of putting a little order out there and hoping it hits. <laughs> you know, if it doesn't hit, it doesn't hit. But you have to know strategically where to place them. This is why we teach you guys, okay? So take a look at this. So this is a stock I fucked up on. I shorted the top at $21. Then it covered down to 19 bucks. Then the bomb falls down to 13 bucks. So now it bounces back up. I'm back in at 1770 area. And then I might do one up here. And then hopefully I'll cover down at this area here. You know, those, so, oh. Shit, fat, fat. So take a look at fat, P-H-A-T. Dude, my phone's all jacked up. Sorry, guys. Top ticked it. 9.20. Now it's down here. I'm trying to cover it down here. So once again, guys, you know, once you learn the basics, the foundational part of trading, you can apply this to strategies and processes that work. The problems you do not know what strategies work. And so I'm telling you guys, man, you guys can be fucking losing all your money trying to figure this shit out on your own or just fucking, you know, join and learn. Because I'm telling you, <laughs> I went through a lot of hardship to figure these things out. <laughs> you know, I lost a lot of money trying to figure this out. Um, I want to get back to my trading guys. So a couple questions and then I got to take it off because I have open positions that I'm making money on. Any questions, guys? The meetup, guys. The meetup. Okay, the lead up, you better show up. I'm telling you, this is the event. And I've just showed you, I traded a seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tickers. I traded nine symbols, all for games. I showed you all that. So our shit works, guys. No, I need to get back to what I'm doing. Uh, any more questions? If not, I will get back to training. We have... All these questions are on the Trading Fish. I have a free we have a free video on our YouTube channel. Look for the Trading Fish Academy. Okay? Trading Fish Academy. All your questions will be answered there. Focus and all that. And we also have a webinar, a free webinar, myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. Okay? Webinar slash webinar and also within the YouTube channel. So click like, do us a favor, help help me click like if you like these videos and help us out, guys. Okay, I gotta get back to trading. We'll see you very soon in the meetup. And once again, you can always hit us up on our DMs. Right? Our DMs are open for Instagram. Thanks, guys.